At noon, we are moments away from the gas tax cut being signed into law. After the House and Senate passed this measure last night, Governor Lamont is vowing he will sign it today. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live now to explain what this means for all of us and when you'll actually see the relief. Matthew. Well, Kara, this means that we're going to be saving 25 cents a gallon, and that's because the state gas tax is going to be suspended. Now, this is going to take effect April 1st and go through July 1st, but we're learning not all gas stations will be quick to make this move. We're going to get into that in a moment, but first, let's break down the savings. It's going to amount to a few dollars each fill-up. So if you have a 15-gallon tank, you're saving $3.75. Now, gas stations are saying... Not so fast. The Connecticut Energy Marketers Association tells Eyewitness News that gas stations pay the tax on fuel up front. So while this will go into effect on April 1st, there are some stations that need to essentially empty their tanks first before passing the savings on to us. So this bill will include other money-saving measures for Connecticut residents as well. A sales tax holiday will start on the week of April 10th. This is not replacing the one in August, but the same deal applies. It's going to be for items $100 or less. Also, bus services will be free for three months, but those dates are still being worked out. Now, all of this is to combat the decades-high inflation that we're seeing right now. And one thing we're seeing here is bipartisan agreement that more may be done. It's a beginning, but by no means the end in our opinion. Uh, certainly from a, a sales tax perspective, our initial proposal in January was for $300 million of tax relief. What we passed today was $5 million. Uh, so we still have about $295 million worth of tax holiday uh, to go around. Again, Governor Lamont pledging to sign this bill today in a tweet. He also says, aside from this gas tax suspension, he's proposing $336 million in tax cuts and a cap on prescription drugs. We're going to have much more throughout the day. But for now, live here in the news are Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. All right, I know that.